So I'm joined today by Trian O'Reardon, and he has um, contacted me regarding a great apostolate that they have. Um, it's the um, St. Martin's Apostolate, and part of that, part of their initiative is Tradoration. Um, so it's growing adoration in Ireland mixed with um, beautiful music. And Trian, if you just want to give me a bit of history about what you've done and a bit, uh, something about uh, some information about this city. And um, so we just drive a little bit of awareness in Ireland. Sure. OK, so um, myself and Father Colin Mannion, he's a Dominican. Uh, we uh, we met in the Legion of Mary a good few years ago. We both happened to play traditional Irish music. And so one year we decided there wasn't much for Catholics on St. Patrick's Day because it was getting so, you know, just distasteful. You didn't want to get involved in half the things going on. So we thought, let's have adoration. But to keep it Irish, we'll try mix in some trad music. So we got some uh, jigs and reels and we just slowed them down. And uh, what, what our rule straight away was, if we're going to do this in front of the best sacrament or in a church at all, like our rule was, you didn't want to ha have anyone tapping their foot, you know, yeah, because that, that would just be a disaster. So we wanted to not take away from the focus being on Jesus and the best sacrament, but at the same time to just enrich it. And we, we found when you slow down some of these jigs and reels, there's beautiful melodies and chord changes going on because these melodies have evolved over hundreds of years. Yes. And there's a sort of an evolution that happens with them and everything unnecessary just gets stripped away. And all you're left with is uh, just really rich melodies. And even if you slow them down, you can hear that in them. Yeah. So we called it trad oration, like trad music with adoration. And so we did that for a few years. And then one year we decided we'd record it. So we did a live recording. And then Father Colin was a great man for putting them together as a CD. And he started giving them out and it became quite popular. And people started using it in their own adoration at home, like in their own parishes or whatever. And so we thought, OK, let's do another CD. But this time we won't do it necessarily for something that you would do in a church. What we decided to do was uh, Father Colin is the Dominican, uh, uh, let me get this right now, the vocations director. So he's traveling around the country a lot and he finds himself in conversations with people a lot. So he decided to record them and he'd bring back the recordings and we'd listen to them uh, speaking about their faith or whatever stories they have. And we put music to them. So let's say Father Colin would jump on the piano and start working out a melody with the accent. It might happen, you know, and then uh, I, I play the flute. So I might come up with the flute and we throw in different instruments. And between us, we play a good few instruments, about 10 instruments. So like uh, we just kept layering things on and then it turned into after about three tracks, we're like we're onto something here. So it became a new CD. So we done nine tracks all together and it turned out that all the recordings we got of old men uh, were probably the best ones. So uh, it's just basically this CD here. It's just it's called Tradoration with a Father's Heart. And that's named after an encyclical uh, that was put out recently. So it's like the idea is these are old Irish men talking about their faith which as you know robert's like it's a rare thing to get irish men to yeah. to open up you know <laughs> yeah so um yeah so that's basically what they they started talking we put music to that and we've got nine tracks out of what they were saying so there's about three from dublin the rest like mayo uh, no sorry mayo Kerry, monaghan there's a lovely accent, monaghan accent in there and it's just these old men talking about their faith talking about stories and we put music to it and so far it's been very very popular yeah so so just imagine, we wouldn't recommend playing this in front of the Blessed Sacrament at all. This would be more adoration in your sitting room, you know. Yeah. Uh, you listen to it, and it comes with a lovely booklet as well. You've got uh, Will Nathan's, uh, the artist, done these lovely uh, pictures. Yes. So every, pay, every, every, every track has its own um, sort of drawing that he's done there, you know. Yeah, yeah. So this is really inspiration that's come from adoration. You know, try, uh, you're bringing prayer to music, which I thought is fantastic. I, uh, you know, to to uh, you know, open people's soul to um, you know, to the profound encounter with Christ and how you know that grows uh, grows our faith. And um, you know, it, it's it's quite incredible in this moment in the time of the church how many people you know they were not able to you know, have that conversation with Christ and the Blessed Sacrament to let it grow in our souls. And uh, another thing you're, you're talking about, um, Irish music, a lot of 
people don't know this, but the Irish language and the Irish music is deeply religious anyway. Oh, yeah. Do you yeah, know, it, uh, the, the, uh, the days of the week, you know, Wednesday and Friday would have connotations to the fasting, um, how we would have said hello and so forth. It was deeply, re- our, our culture was deeply, the Irish language and our culture was deeply religious. So, and a lot yeah. of the songs we would have played would have been, would have been deeply religious. So uh, you, you're really digging into Irish culture there and Irish yeah, history. Yeah. Yeah, oh, even figured. like I was, I was looking at a map the other day, and I was looking at all the towns around Ireland. A good few of them, they start with a church, and yeah. then it grows out from there. People move in; they want to be near the monks, you know. So they moved in, and it turns into a city. Then you know, yeah. And same with our language; the core of it seems to be like it really take a lot of steps forward when it became when we became Christian. We started to become uh, a, lit- a literate reading and our language developed a lot. So a lot of it is just religious at its very core, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, are, are you are you organizing more of these adoration sessions around Ireland? Uh, I, I, the ones that you were mentioning in um, on St. Patrick's Day, are, are they being organized or or what's the what's the situation at the moment? Yeah, like we, we'll definitely do something for St. Patrick's Day. That'll be in St. Saviour's more, more than likely. Yeah. Uh, we're down in Cork on, uh, is it Monday evening, down in uh, Pope's Key, St. Mary's in Cork. Uh, that's just kind of promoting the CD again. Yeah. But, uh, uh, yeah, we, we'll, we'll uh, keep you posted, like, if there's things coming up, you know, around Dublin yeah. even, yeah. Yeah, you yeah, know, no, it's great because I, I know people do reach out to me that if I put a video up of a conversation, they said, oh, we'd like to know more of what's going on in Ireland. So sure. um, uh, and people I, I find the lazy Irish Catholics are hungry for Catholicism. You know, we just need to open the doors to them of the of the the beauty of our faith and start talking more about it. And don't be afraid uh, uh, to to grow it, you know, especially us laymen. It's kind of critical now that we provide leadership in 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 catechizing and helping a new generation you know so Absolutely. i just think you know work... what? i, I think yeah. you said something very profound there i think beauty is now our best ally at evangelism yeah. because because whatever way it's set up now the devil's up to something with if you come with truth there's a huge the, the resist the antivirus the truth is so strong in our culture oh look that's your truth forget about it. and people <laughs> just dismiss you can make the best argument in the world and straight away, ah, look, that's your reality. I live in a different one. So you're just, yeah. they're gone, you know. Same yeah. with goodness. Like, these are the three transcendentals, truth, goodness, and beauty. Yeah. Goodness, if you make a moral, if you put up a moral, like a saint, like I'm a teacher, yeah. so I talk about the saints a lot. And they, they really get inspired when they hear about the saints. But at the same time, part of them says, no, but that's, it's a bit preachy. I don't want to, they straight away feel the challenge. There's an obligation yeah. on them to be like, you know, and that yeah. can turn them off then. Yeah. But with beauty. You show people something beauty, they've no resistance. There's no yeah. wall, it goes straight into their hearts. See, that's beautiful. Absolutely. And there's no resistance to it. I mean, I say this all the time. I, I bring my children sometimes, we go to a traditional Latin mass or we'll go to a reverend novus order. So I try to expose them as much as possible to the beauty of Catholicism. And um, you often hear people walking into a monastery uh, or and they're singing Latin, um, a Gregorian chant, and they mightn't understand what is being said. But they understand they hear and they see the beauty, you know, and they said, oh, I'll buy a CD of that. And and, and, and you're saying, well, you don't understand the words. I don't understand, but I can uh, I can identify with the beauty that's that's there in the music. And yeah. this is where we have to go in the church is to flood Catholicism again with what's true, good and beautiful. This is why I say to my kids, you know, don't look at Catholicism as a, as a system of rules. Look at it as a door of truth and to always look for the truth. And you, you're driving that conversation forward with them. Um, and this is kind of critical now for us laymen and, and, and lady around Ireland to, 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 to get this conversation going again in Ireland and, and flooding Catholicism with, with truth. I mean, uh, nothing can be more true or more beautiful than than a beautiful adoration, you know, going in and kneeling before our Lord in adoration. I, I do like it when it's guided. I, um, I've, I've seen a few sessions around Ireland where Sis- Franciscan Sisters of the Renewal, they will do a guided adoration, which, which um, quiet chant and music definitely something we have to be promoting it's it's profoundly beautiful and yeah. the you know the more time that we're we're opening souls to that you know we'll we'll renew the church in ireland for sure yeah 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 i think even like if beauty has to do with order 
there's nothing more orderly than creatures worshipping the creator. And you see that visually in, in adoration. It's like you get that with nice music or even silence or whatever. Yeah. And just getting those things right, I think, will have a huge appeal to people, especially because today I think they're starved of true beauty. They think yeah. they have it because they're, they're, oh, you know, they like music and whatever. But if you actually listen to the art and music and poetry they're exposed to, it's, yeah. it's actually quite hideous, you know. Yeah, so it is. True, true beauty now, I think, will actually save the world. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You know? It's 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 a hard battle, you know, tr- driving these conversations with the next generation. But uh, you know, I I I'm I'm blessed. My my eldest daughter, she's uh, she's studying philosophy, so we have a lot oh, of uh, conversations on 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 different topics and uh, what she's reading, what I'm reading. So uh, you know, and the other kids are hearing all of this. So um, yeah. you know, I I, th- I think uh, the the are uh, th- this that generation they're they're looking to be challenged. You know, they're they're. They're yeah, looking to be absolutely. challenged. They they don't want dumbed down Catholicism. They want the full fat Catholicism. You know, yeah, <laughs> give us yeah, the truth yeah. again. So you know, exactly. fair play, yeah, yeah. fair play to you three, and and uh, for taking the time to talk to me. And uh, no I will problem. link. I will link in your your um your uh, the CD there and the link to the apostolate. And um, if there if is there any way that people can support you apart from the buying the CD or. Um, um. Well, that that's a bit. There's also a YouTube channel might be worth mentioning. So we, we made little videos for the uh, for each song. Now most of it the, most of it is up on YouTube. It's one track left to yet to go up. It'll be up probably next week. So they're all up there. So yeah, if people click on the video, give us some hits and little spreads help the yeah. algorithm and all that so absolutely absolutely yeah. uh yeah no absolutely and if anybody has any comments we'll try and um get more discussions like this going with other men around ireland uh, that are uh, have different ideas so we're trying to c- create some type of forum to to uh you know dr- renew the faith and i think you know uh, anything when i hear adoration or the eucharist it just you know it's just uh my pet well it was my passion really <laughs> to yeah, to yeah. to renew this and um i think that the ireland will re- will renew and the world re- will renew if we return to the eucharist and what's most true good and beautiful about our faith you know it's uh you can't get you can't go wrong there and you know and great and fair dues to the dominicans you know no better men for 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 trying to do this so uh, i do i do applaud them uh, and their and their support for everything they're doing in ireland so it's great yeah. great yeah well thanks for that i won't take up more okay. of your time but i'll link okay. the, i'll link everything below and uh, we'll keep you updated okay thanks a million robert God you're bless. welcome God bless. Bye. Bye.